and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taste testing new in things from Tesco. I have some of their Christmas range to try and then just some other new bits. I keep seeing a few things that have caught my eye. So I thought, why not combine the video, do some Christmas bits and some non-Christmas bits and hope I find some good things. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let's start off with something in the thumbnail because... This intrigued me. I think I've only ever tried one thing from the English Cheesecake Company, and that was actually one of their cheesecakes, but they've brought out this new range. This is the only one I could manage to get my hands on. They've got ice creams, like strawberry cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake, I think it is, and a few different ones of these little bites. Now, I thought it was weird. They didn't have it in the big Tesco, but I managed to pick these up in like a little Tesco next to a station, and they were down to three pounds on the club card points. I think they were normally four pounds. So there's two ways that you can eat these. You can eat it after five minutes or 20 minutes. So I thought I could do it five minutes now, and then at the end of the video, try it again. It says, if you eat it after five minutes, it's just like ice cream. What is that noise? Or after 20 minutes, enjoy it just like a cheesecake. I'm interested to know how big these are. Can't really tilt it in case they fall out. Let's give it a five minute taste test. Still rock solid. Oh my God. First impressions, that tastes so good. I definitely need to come back to it though. It needs to melt a little bit more. Mm. Next thing I'm gonna try, because I need a bit of caffeine, get the vibes up for the video. This is the new limited edition gingerbread latte. I really like these Costa cans. This was one pound on a club card offer. A lot of the things I think may have been on club card offer. Not on purpose. Savor the season with our limited edition gingerbread la- <coughs> Gingerbread latte. A slow roasted signature blend coffee paired with sweet gingerbread spice. Wintry, soothing and worth the wait. Why is it worth the wait? It's cold. Not like a wait for it to cool down anyway. Oh my god that's strong. Oh. The gingerbread is very strong but definitely a spicy gingerbread. There is not much sweetness to that at all. The Costa drinks are normally really sweet. I mean this though is actually so cute. Also side note who saw my gingerbread short? I made the best gingerbread latte. You can get them in Tesco like the Tassimo pods if you have a Tassimo machine that is. Oh this says shake. I didn't shake it. I won't lie to you. I will drink it but I wouldn't be buying this again. Too spicy. The next thing I'm going to try, I'm just going to insert a picture on the screen now because I've already ripped open the package and put one in the oven. So these are Tesco's Bolognese Calzones. They're £3.50 for eight. What I thought was interesting, Tesco's party range says that everything is cooked at the same temperature. How annoying is it when you've got to cook loads of things and they've got all different instructions? I haven't seen anything like this. I don't really see how it's Christmassy though. I don't really associate Bolognese with Christmas, but... That's really sad. There's like no filling in that. I tried to pick the best looking one as well, but it's like empty. What a sad day. The description says, mini calzone pizzas filled with a rich tomato, beef and smoked bacon sauce. As you can see, mine looked nothing like that. They're a letdown. If you're doing the four for three, I think the deal might be, or two for three, don't add these to your deal. Next thing I'm going to try, again, I'm going to put a picture on the screen because they're in the freezer. Salted caramel and dark chocolate cookie dough balls. These are by the cookie dough company. I really want to try their version of Little Moons. I thought that that's what I was buying, but it wasn't. These are basically just a pack of six cookies and then you can just pop one out, put it in the oven. These are salted caramel and dark chocolate. They're gluten free. Just pop them in the oven for 15 minutes. I paid £2 on club card points, but I think they were three for six. I must admit, I have burnt it a little bit. Oh no, that looks really burnt on camera. Don't, shall I cook another one? It said between 14 and 16 and I did 14. Aside from the burnt bit, they taste really nice. And I love the concept, just having the little packs to throw one in the oven. I'll cook another one during Vlogmas and then I'll give you a better opinion. There's no point in me cooking another one now, is there? I'm going to save for this one. So far, so good. Next thing we have, I don't actually have a receipt for these because I bought these a while ago. You would have seen when I bought these in another video, but I think they're around £1.35. These are Christmas pudding flavour. I have a hard time with Christmas crisps because they're also similar. These are definitely new and exciting anyway, and they're full of colour. They're really, really, like, dark. 
We'll see what I think. More Rob. I think like my mum and Nan would like them. It just tastes like fruit toast, but I mean, yeah, it probably just tastes like Christmas pudding. I won't lie to you, I don't think I've ever eaten Christmas pudding. I definitely haven't had anything like these, but yeah, not for me. Definitely wouldn't be buying these ones again. Let's do another drink. I have these. These are from Costa and these are the salted caramel lattes. They've also brought out a millionaire's mocha. They didn't have it, so I had to settle for this, but we all know that I am always on the hunt for a good salted caramel latte. You never know, these might win. So these were two pounds, you get six in the pack. I've made one earlier, so hopefully it's cooled down enough. You know my mug where you can see the drink and it's like, it's got a layer. It broke, it got water in it and it's really made me sad because the only other ones I've found online are glass and I really wanted plastic ones. But anyway, it smells good. Mmm. I'm not getting the salted. The salted caramel does not exist. I'm telling you. Maybe I literally just need to pour a bit of salt in there. <laughs> that hand action was not it. It tastes more like blonde chocolate than salted caramel. It is good though. The flavour's nice. I'm not sure if it's any better than any of the other sachets. I used to live off these types of coffees before I got a coffee machine with the little sachet. So I feel like I've tried a good few, but yeah, I don't feel like it's any better than the other ones. Would I buy that flavour again? Probably not. I do really want to try the mocha. I'll keep my eyes peeled for that, but this flavour, it's a no from me, sorry. Anyway, let's get something that I can dip into this. These are part of Tesco Finest Christmas range. These are butterscotch and double cream shortbread. These are £2.50. Here's how many you get in the pack. Here's what they look like. See the bottom. Mmm. Oh, they are good. They are so buttery. My taste is definitely evolving. When I was younger, I always thought that shortbread was like a really basic biscuit. I just really didn't get the fuss over it. But now, what was that? That was in my plan. Oh my God, he just had a heart attack. My heart is going pitter patter. I never film with my living room door shut. And the one time I do, a noise like that happens. I found out what it was. I got one of those, you stick them on the wall instead of like screwing things in. Can't for the life of me think what it was, but that cost me like four quid as well. I got one of the heavy duty hooks and I've only hung a bag with some kitchen roll and toilet roll inside of the cupboard in my hallway and it's fallen off. It's ripped some of the wall off as well. Anyway, don't know what I was saying, but let's try and dunk. The butterscotch in them is so good. I love them and would definitely buy them again. God, I'm still recovering. Next up, we have something I'm very excited for. This is the Cadbury Snowballs chocolate bar. This cost me a pound. I see snowballs as the Christmas version of mini eggs because they've got like that hard coat in and I just love them. If you close your eyes and tried this, you would think you was eating the mini egg Cadbury's bar. Honestly, you can't go wrong. Very good, would definitely buy that again. It's definitely been 20 minutes, so I'm going to come back to this and see what it's like as a cheesecake. Okay, it's very soft. It's definitely defrosted. Oh my god. I'm not the biggest cheesecake lover. I eat it, but it's not my favourite. I wouldn't pick it on a menu. But that is really good. It's also the perfect dessert because they're just in little bite-sized pieces. we we'll definitely buy these again. Next up, we have another Christmas crisp. I don't know what makes these Christmassy, but they are. They've got the mistletoes and the Christmas tree. They were with the Christmas crisps. They are the vegetable crisps. I'm personally a lover of them. They're £1.35 for the bag, and these are caramelised onion flavour. Mmm, they are so full of flavour. Do you know what it is? It's because normally caramelised onion is normally cheese and caramelised onion. But because there's no cheese flavour, the caramelised onion just stands out so much more. And I prefer that so much more. Oh my god, stop. Especially the beetroot ones. What, what crisps are they? Parsnip, beetroot and carrot. Wow. I wonder if my brother would eat these because that boy don't eat vegetables. If you close your eyes, surely you wouldn't tell. 100% would buy these again. I'm wild. I'm, I want to eat the whole bag now. 
Next up, we have another thing from the Christmas range. These are called chocolate swirl bites. You get eight in a pack. They are, one minute. <laughs> I literally just looked, I put the worst memory. One pound 25. The description is chocolate flavored sponge and buttercream for a rich treat. Here's what they look like. Do you know what I've realized these are? These are basically just a revamp of a Yule log or just like, you know, an extra thing to sell because it's even got the little dusting on top. exactly as i said they are very good i mean you can't really go wrong but delicious but yeah i see what you did there tesco your log's little cousin so next up these are down the christmas aisle and these are caramel cake truffles it says christmas market treats this brand is really good stolen bites these are normally three pound fifty but i paid three pound on club card points they also had chocolate orange i want to say here's what they look like who remembers when I used to be obsessed with sprinkles? I haven't had sprinkles in ages now. Oh no. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know, I really am going through the motions. It's got like an almondy taste. Um, yeah, I don't really like them. The flavour at the end was nice, but I liked it and then I didn't like it and then I liked it again. It's not really. I don't know it's it's a bit of a sickly product and it's got a weird taste I can't quite put my finger on it I'm sure it's almond which I would usually like but maybe not with chocolate I don't know it's just not doing it for me so I personally definitely wouldn't be buying these again <laughs> only three products to go right let's go for these next so these are boxing day curry coated peanuts I love a crispy peanut these are one pound 20 but I paid one pound on my club card points they smell more like a spice cupboard than an actual curry they definitely taste better than they smell. Mm. I'm not so keen on them. I can't really put my finger on it. The thing with me is I'm not really good with my words. So if I say it smells like a spice cupboard, you'll be like, yeah, I mean, the spice is in curry. But curry normally smells a lot nicer. The curry flavour is just not right for me. Not really to my taste, so I wouldn't be buying these ones again. Let's move on to an alcoholic drink. It's been a while. I don't know why I've done so many drinks in today's video. It just has worked out that way. But I thought it's Christmas. It's in the festive period. If you have been here from the start, or you've watched all my old videos you'll know i always tried an alcoholic drink i saw these and i thought i would give it a go these are two pounds 80 for context as i always compare these cans to mls do ones mls ones are two pounds 25 so yeah a lot more expensive and these are 4.5 percent mls ones are eight percent although this is a grey goose vodka but the flavor for this is strawberry and lemongrass that smells really good mmm not that great i feel like is it just soda i don't know it's lacking something like the strawberry bit's nice but i feel like it needs to be lemonade it's just got that like fizzy water vibe to it do you know what i mean it's more like a white claw oh yeah that's what i was going to say when i was in tesco i had so many of these that i'd never seen before but then i realized it's probably because i never buy them anymore if you prefer soda water over lemonade then you'll probably like this because the strawberry and lemongrass flavor is really nice not one for me unfortunately <laughs> We're on the last item, but hopefully a good one. So I have a goo dessert. They've got so many of these. I seriously can't keep up. They had loads to pick from, but I went for this one because it looked the most interesting and it was on club card offer. So these were £3.75, but I saved a pound. And so they were £2.75. Great maths. This is a brookie one. So it says pillowy soft vanilla mascarpone cream hiding perfectly chewy fudgy gooey in the middle chocolate brownie all on a crumbly cookie base so satisfying Ooh, here's what it looks like i feel like i want to go in the middle because that's where the best fit's going to be right this has been at my whole taste test so it's probably been about an hour since i got this out now oops bottom bit's hard to get to I'm trying to get all the layers mmm mmm Oh my god, that is a good one. That is one of their better desserts. The top bit is so nice and soft. The flavours in that are so good. You know it's good if I'm eating loads of it. 
and it's the final item because usually by the end of these videos i'm like Bleh. i would definitely buy this one again although i will say it might be a little bit dry if you don't leave it out like i've done the bottom layer is a bit hard and that's everything for today's video i'm trying to think what my favorites were definitely the final item the goo product really love them the biscoff cheesecake that was really good and then i think my final item in the top three is between these two so the caramelized onion vegetable crisps or the snowball chocolate although i do feel like this is a very basic product but it hits the spot anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this one if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here as always thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next one